Welcome to the Ameridroid Minilab slash Electrical Closet. Today we'll be looking at how to assemble the bottom half of the Ameridroid Owen Walking Robot Kit. First step is to get the the arm that only goes in one direction from the blue servos. These would be the hip servos. The black servos are the ankle servos. So here we have an assembled robot and as you can see the on the ankles the beveled part faces the back so the beveled part faces the back and the the white arm goes through the top part now these two holes are different sizes because the black arms from the black servos are actually thicker Okay, once you have those two arms in, if you have the beveled end facing down, you should have the geared side facing towards the outside edge and, um, and a mirror image of each other. Now we're going to do the, the black arms. Again, you only want the the one that only has one side. And now what we want to do is again we're going to face the geared side. See one of these sides has gears right there. This side, the other side does not have gears. So the geared side we're going to put facing outwards again. But from the opposite side of the white one. Alright, so just like that and push it through. Do the same thing on the other side but mirrored. And we'll be ready to go on the next step. Now that we have them both in, they should look like this. Next we will bend some uh, wires to lock them into their current locations. So something like a paper clip is a good diameter. Paper clips, not just for clipping paper. But as makers you already know that. So with one side of the clip in there, we will find the bend point for the other side. Now if you look here, the cut part of the wire is facing towards the beveled side. So here's the beveled side, we will insert it here, and then we'll spin these wires out of the way a little bit once it's through to make room for the screw head on the other side. Now we'll repeat that for the black on this one, the black on this one, and the other white. Okay, so with the wires in place it should look something like this and that will keep the the arms from sliding out of the ankle joints. Right next we'll mount the servos in the feet and the hips. Remember the ankles are going to be the black ones because these are the metal geared servos. They are they are more durable. When you install these the corded side goes towards the wide side of the foot here and the arm faces the back. So first thing first we slip the cord through this opening here. So it should push in and then screw in the threaded screws to the two sides here. That will hold it in place. Now that we have the servos mounted and screwed in and the cables extending, we will get to the hip servos. This is the pelvis piece, and we will mount the servos in here. Now if you'll notice, one side has a groove in it, an indent. So you'll want to put the, the cord that's going to go into the side where the groove is. Okay, so that's how that should look. 
and again mount the two screws there. We'll do the same thing with the other servo. Once you have the servo screwed in, it should look like this. The axles of the servos, this is the front side of the robot. The axles of the servo should be just slightly ahead of this, of this bracket up here. If you have it the other way around, you have the servos in backwards. Now do not mount these arms onto these yet, onto any of these posts, until you've hooked this up to the servo controller and applied power to it, because that will center these servos. And once these servos are centered, then you can attach these to the servos. Now note that the metal servos use a machine thread to mount to these axles, while the the blue servos use a plastic threaded screw to mount into these axles. And don't worry when you hook these up, they will only go on, they will not go on perfectly square normally because of the gear, or because of the teeth. Actually we have these backwards. So the, the wide part of the foot is outside. And we will want the white part to be facing up and the black part to be facing in. So it should look like this. But again, do not do this until you've centered the servos by hooking it into the servo controller and powering it on. Alright, and then this will just mount right on top of there.